Welcome back to Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing the Prime Fitness Rotate Handles, Short Bar, Long Bar, and the Spreader. I like all of these attachments. I like them a lot, with a couple of caveats. Stay tuned. I placed this order on a Sunday evening, and it arrived Wednesday that same week. On Prime's webpage, there is a message reading the product will ship in 10 to 15 business days, so I was pleasantly surprised everything arrived so quickly. FedEx was the carrier, and the package arrived in excellent condition. I am extremely impressed by how well the contents of the box were packaged. In fact, this is one of the best packing jobs I've ever seen. Further, each box went through QC by JR, who should be team member of the month. The rotate handles were individually wrapped, and each handle comes with a carabiner. There is a post on each handle, to prevent the grip from swiveling 360 degrees. The short bar is nicely packed with cardboard wedges and the hardware pack is individually wrapped. The short bar comes with three carabiners, two swivels, and two oval carabiners. The long bar is packaged the same way with all the same hardware. Next, the spreader is very securely packaged and it reminds me a lot of a water glider. This entire shipment was just shy of $400, including the $20 shipping fee, the long bar sells for $85, the short bar for $65, the handles for $125, and the spreader for $165. Luckily, I found the coupon code by doing a Google search. When I first started adding cable attachments, I went with some of the more traditional ones. I then got the infamous mag grip knockoffs, and later the angles 90 grips. My next major cable attachment was the Iron Master Ultimate Row Handle. This is a really cool attachment, and sometimes it's nice to have a knurled grip. These prime cable attachments are my most expensive cable attachments to date. I like that they are made in the USA and they have a really premium feel. I will continue to use my mag grip knockoffs because the prime attachments have their limitations, which I will cover. And I'll continue to use the angles 90 grips because they can do things the prime attachments can't, like connect to a bar for pull-ups. Right off the bat, I number the settings on the long bar and short bar so I could track everything in my logbook more precisely. It's easy to adjust from setting to setting but one hand will need to brace the bar. The grips feel incredibly comfortable and each grip is labeled and that is definitely necessary as I got familiar with the product. The holes along the bar are there mostly to reduce the weight of the handles and also for some cosmetic effect. I have found I can connect into the next to top hole to shorten how low the grip hangs, but any hole lower than that has a detrimental effect on the stability of the grip. By no means are the grips indestructible as I dropped one and had a slight split in the grip which was a little irritating at the time. Right out of the gate, I want to address the biggest issue with the rotate handles when attached to the long or short bar, and that is how low it hangs. For most home gyms, cable towers are going to be about 80 inches, and if I don't want to sit on the floor, depending on the height of my bench, I am going to have a difficult time reaching full extension. From the carabiner to the end of the grip, the length is about 17 inches. Furthermore, the short bar with the handles attached weighs 8 pounds, and the long bar 11 pounds. Even if I swap the carabiners that come with the cable attachments to smaller ones, it doesn't provide me that much of a noticeable difference when at full extension. I could also remove the swivels, but they make exercises feel more smooth. Luckily, when using the Lever Gym and the Powertech Flat Incline Decline Bench, I can put the back pad in the decline position and go from an 18-inch bench to a 12-inch bench. The lower bench height pretty much gives me a full extension, as the Lever Gym's upper pulley is 77 inches high. However, this isn't going to cut it for someone who is six feet or more. I also have the option to sit on my stool, which is also 12 inches, and still be able to lock my legs under the roller pads. The ideal setup is similar on my PowerTech cable tower, although the cable tower's pulley height is slightly less than the lever gems at 75 inches. Even my Iron Master cable tower with its 80 inch pulley height isn't tall enough for full extension with the prime attachments. Luckily, there's the good old IM2000. This turns out to be the best place for pull downs with the prime attachments, as I have more than enough room, even if I was as tall as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. By sitting on the floor and locking my legs under the rollers, the cable attachment site is 78 inches high. Prime touts, and I agree, that the handles reduce grip fatigue and they can increase output potential. I find them to be very joint friendly, allow for a full and natural range of motion, and there's no need for straps. The short bar has six positions ranging from 18 inches to nine inches in one inch increments. The attachment is great for any exercise where full extension overhead isn't necessary, like chest supported rows, bench seated rows, and floor seated rows. 
The closed design of the bar will keep the carabiners from popping off, unlike similar products. Standing as well as overhead tricep extensions feel effective and natural, shrugs feel great, and preacher and standing bicep curls are all exercises that stand out as my favorites. The long bar has a max width of 36 inches down to a minimum of 18 inches in one and a half inch increments. I find this bar to be best for upper back pull downs, whereas I like the short bar for lat pull downs. The long bar also works very well for a pec fly and chest press hack when chains are attached. There's always the option to just purchase the handles, which I really like because of their grippy texture and ergonomic design. They work great with my PowerTech Streamline Functional Trainer, also for one arm pull downs and for one arm preacher curls. While the handles can be used for flies and chest presses, I won't rave about those exercises in the same fashion I will pull downs. They do feel good and effective, but the bar on the handle will dig into the skin. As a result, I'll continue to use the handles that came with my functional trainer. Another solid option if you have the Iron Master Ultimate Row Handle is to add the handles to the attachment. This closed design locks the carabiner in place and it makes it great for a number of exercises, including pull downs and push downs. Next up, the spreader from carabiner to grip is 23 and a half inches and it can spread nearly two and a half feet. It weighs about eight pounds. It is a ball and socket design which allows for a very natural feel when performing exercises. The grip is the same as the rotate handles, but oddly enough, the texture is a bit more grippy. Like the short and long bars, full extension isn't really possible for overhead exercises, but by sitting back and away from the cable, some really good pull down variations can be performed. Like the long and short bars, on the IM2000, the spreader can be used for pull downs if sitting on the floor. The spreader really shines for standing upper back pulls and supine pulls. Seated rows feel pretty effective, as do bicep curls and shrugs. However, the exercise that stands out among all others with the spreader is the standing tricep extension. In fact, if I could only perform one isolation tricep exercise for the rest of my life, this would be it. It feels effective and natural and even better than using the short bar and rotate handles. This was an expensive purchase and there is some carryover between the Prime Fitness cable attachments that I reviewed today. I'm sure that I would have been fine just getting the Prime Fitness rotate handles along with my Iron Master Ultimate Row Handle, but I wanted to get everything for a comprehensive review. I think many people with home gym lat towers will find any exercise requiring full extension to be less than desirable when using the rotate handles in one of the bars. However, if you're in a commercial gym or have a lat tower that's high off the ground, I think you'll find any exercise, including pull downs, to be very effective and worthwhile. Also, the short and long bars, along with the carabiners, swivels, and rotate handles, can be a little cumbersome to deal with, but I think the positives far outweigh the negatives, and overall, I'm very happy with this purchase. I see the prime attachments as just another tool in the toolbox, and I kind of feel like I have a bunch of new machines. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe if you found anything in this video helpful. Also, please consider using one of my affiliate links at no additional cost to you if any of my videos or reviews have helped you. You can find me on Instagram at Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. And remember, if your equipment lacks, I got the hacks. Take care, everyone.